This is from the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York. This is our latest weather briefing on the upcoming winter storm and heavy rainfall that will impact the area later this afternoon through tomorrow. This was prepared 2 o'clock this afternoon by meteorologist Kate Hulley and I'm Bob Munchank. This briefing applies to the National Weather Service Binghamton Office Area of Responsibility Only, which is Central New York and Northeast Pennsylvania. Changes since the last briefing. Right now, it looks like the warm air is going to be coming in a little sooner than was previously anticipated. So the transition from snow to wintry mix to rain is going to occur a little bit quicker. Because of that, in general for the area, there's going to be a little less snow accumulation overnight. Impacts from the storm. The roads will be slippery overnight and into tomorrow morning due to the snow and then the mix of sleet and freezing rain. Later this evening, from the northern Finger Lakes region, across the Syracuse area into the western Mohawk Valley, snowfall rates of about an inch per hour could occur, but this won't last for very long. Tomorrow, after the precipitation is all rain, we are expecting another inch to inch and a half of rainfall. This could cause some sharp rises on major rivers, although no flooding is expected on the main stem rivers. Headwater points could approach minor flood stage, and there could also be some poor drainage flooding. Tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, as this low pressure system starts lifting off to our northeast, the rain will change back to snow showers with a snow accumulation of two inches possible during the evening tomorrow. This map here shows the onset of accumulating snow for the area. So down in the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area in southern Poconos, we're looking at uh, around uh, rush hour, five o'clock, across the northern tier of PA and Southern tier in New York around 7, and up north in the Syracuse and Utica area about 9 o'clock this evening. This shows a time when we're expecting the snow to start transitioning to sleet and freezing rain. Again, down to the far south, we're looking at later this evening about 8 o'clock, across the northern tier of PA and the southern tier of central New York around midnight, and up across the northern Finger Lakes region into the Syracuse and Utica area around 4 a.m. This is when we expect the precipitation to be just plain rain. Uh, down to the south, again, we're looking at around midnight across the, uh, the Binghamton area around 4 a.m. and up to the north around daybreak, around 7 o'clock. All the precipitation should just be transitioning to just plain rain. This map here shows the total snowfall overnight. As you can see, for much of northeast PA and the southern tier of central New York, we're looking at a snowfall of about 1 to 3 inches. And then if you look further to the north from the northern Finger Lakes region into the Syracuse and Utica area, a general accumulation of around three to six inches. Here is a total freezing rain that we are expecting. Uh, not a lot of uh, accretion of ice. The transition once the snow starts going from snow to sleet and freezing rain to rain will be a pretty quick transition. The only thing is it's been really cold lately, so the ground is going to remain cold even though the air will warm up. So I would expect even some freezing rain to be occurring tomorrow morning on untreated roads and sidewalks, even in areas where the temperature is above freezing. So stay weather alert. Here's the internet site where you can gather a lot more weather information. Or you can follow us on social media, either Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube.